Hi there and welcome to this video about how to remove the Google redirect virus. As you can see on the screen we've got a, a website called Personal Computer Fixes Up and uh, this has got one of the most effective and reliable Google redirect virus uh, tutorials uh, on the internet. I mean we've used this over and over again to remove this virus from various people's computers, uh, various clients of ours and, and different people on the internet and it's worked wonders. Um, they do it a little differently than what most people say but it's highly effective so I'm going to basically walk you through their tutorial and show you exactly what uh, you need to do to get rid of this infection from your PC today. Just to, uh, before we do that, let me just give you a bit of a background on what this virus is and, and uh, how you know you've got it. Essentially, as, uh, as the name describes, Google Redirect Virus is a virus that redirects the search engine results on your website, uh, on your internet, to different uh, malicious websites. Um, most typical, it's, w it's when you look at Google and when you type um, just some random um, search into the, the search box and it'll come up with some websites, you click a site and it'll take you to some, some really crazy site. Some of the sites they take you to include the likes of um, floridatraffic.com, um, results5.google.com, some, some really strange ones. Anyway, the bottom line is uh, this virus uh, is very infectious and it's very damaging and uh, the problem that most people have is that it's actually quite difficult to remove basically because of the way it installs itself on your PC. The problem is that most viruses install themselves either with um, an application or some kind of malicious file that will do some damage to your PC. The Google redirect virus doesn't do any of that. It will just install, it will just change various settings on your PC and cause them to basically redirect to the wrong sites. So to cut a long story short, the way to fix this, there are five steps you need to take. I'm going to show you how to do it now. So the first one is to use a program called Combo Fix. This is a, a little known tool by bleepingcomputer.com. Um, it's free to use and um, basically you can just download it to the desktop of your PC. Let's take that off there. As you can see, it's downloaded. It's like a little tiger icon. Um, I'm not going to click it because it will basically restart my PC because I don't have the virus but what you need to do is essentially download the thing, uh, the program, put it on your desktop then step two, close any programs that you've got running step three is to download a notepad file which basically has a little script inside so if we download that you know, let's uh, save link as and we put it on the desktop so we put it with the with the combo fix there, so we've got the CF script which is combo fix script and combo fix and uh, what you need to do then is basically drag that onto combo fix and it should run I'm not going to do it because this PC doesn't have the virus so it might cause damage um, so as you can see there you basically just drag the script over so like that and that will load up combo fix and it will run the script for you and we'll look through these various files so um, you know, basically get rid of the virus from those files. After that, you use a registry cleaner to fix the different settings that the virus is infected. Now, uh, we've got this installed already. It's called Frontline Registry Cleaner. Uh, it's a very popular tool on the on the internet right now. And essentially, what it'll do is it'll scan through your PC and fix the various um, settings that are in the registry. Now, we've just done a scan on this, so don't know how many errors it will find. But basically, uh, what most people forget to mention when they talk about spyware and adware removal is that there's a lot of settings left inside the big database called the registry inside Windows. Now, the registry is like a library for all the different settings and software for your PC. Uh, so imagine the, the likes of your desktop wallpaper or whatever are stored in there. Now, when you remove a virus, it's often the case that all its settings and, va and, and options and whatever are kept inside this, this database. And that basically... Um, will cause the virus to either come back or to come to make it um, you know damaged on your PC or whatever the bottom line is you need to get rid of those infectious um, settings and the way to do that is to use this registry cleaner frontline registry cleaner um, well there are others available but we found this to be the most effective um, I'm just going to stop this because we've, we've, we haven't got the virus basically so if you just click next fix the errors there um, and then you've got the virus off your PC Although this, that's basically how this the um, 